Hi Lakeside students! The first thing you're going to want to do when you receive your iPad is to name it. To do that, go to your settings. On the left hand side, make sure that General is clicked and then click on the top About. Where it says Name, click there and your iPad will probably be named iPad. Press the little gray X to delete where it says iPad and then go ahead and put your first and last name. One space in between your first and last name. No nicknames and make sure that you use a capital for both the fir your first and last name. When you're done with that, click done. And if it doesn't show up right away, it's okay. It will in just a second. Hi Lakeside students, here is how to connect your iPad to the wireless network at school. Go ahead and launch settings. On the left hand side, choose Wi-Fi and a list of the wire wireless networks will pop up. You're looking for the network that says LUSD student R. So it has to have the letter R at the end. When you click that, it will ask for your username. Your username is the same as your Google username email without the at lsusd.me domain on the end. So it'll be your first, the first letter of your first name, period, your last name, then the last four digits of your student ID. This is also written down on the white piece of paper, the passport that was given to you with the iPad. So it's the same as your Google email, just without the lsusd.me on the end. Your password is the exact same as Google. Capital C, capital A, your whole entire student ID number, and then the exclamation at the end. When you click join, you'll see this screen. Make sure you press trust. It'll spin for a second and then you'll have the check mark next to LUSD student R and you'll be connected to the wireless at school. Here's how to add the passcode to your iPad. Go ahead and launch settings. On the left hand side, find passcode. Yours might say passcode and touch ID. Go ahead and click it. Find on the screen on the right hand side where it says turn passcode on. If your passcode is asking for a six digit code like this, you're going to wanna to click passcode options and click four digit numeric code. Your passcode has to be the last four digits of your student ID. This is written on that white piece of paper on the passport that was given to you with the iPad. So go ahead, you're going to have to do this twice. Put in your student ID. You'll have to do it twice. You won't have that problem and then your passcode should be good. Um, your teacher will be checking to make sure that the passcode matches the passcode on your white passport paper. Hi Lakeside students, here is how to connect to the MDM. Launch the Lightspeed app. This web page will pop up. Make sure under device name it says your name. If it says iPad, go back and rename your iPad in the settings. Your username whoops, will be your Google email account without the at lsusd.me domain. So it'll be the, your first initial, period, last name, the last four digits of your student ID no at lsusd.me. Your password, everybody's password is star, S-T-A-R. This information is also written on, your white, on that white piece of paper that was delivered with your iPad, the passport, so you can check there too. Once you have those two things um, typed in, click sign in and this will connect you to the MDM.
Hi Lakeside students, here is how to log in to your district Google Drive account. Go ahead and launch the Google Drive app. This is the green, yellow, and blue triangle. In the bottom left hand corner, click sign in. When this screen pops up asking for your email or phone number, you're going to put in your district Google account email. And if you're not sure what that is, it's written on the white passport that was given to you with your iPad. So go ahead and click. For most students, it will be the first initial of their first name, period, last name, and then four digits. Those four digits are the last four digits of your student ID number. So you can also double check that on your passport. At, the domain is lsusd.me, M-E. Once you've done that, you can click Next. Your password is also written on your passport, the white piece of paper that was given to you with your iPad under Google Password. For everyone, it's going to be a capital C and a capital A. Make sure that the C and the A are both capitalized, and then it will be your student ID number. This can be found on your passport as well. Don't forget at the end of your password, you have to have an exclamation mark. If you don't have the exclamation mark, it won't work. Also, no spaces in your password. Go ahead and press, or here, let me show you what it looks like. So this is what it should look like. Capital C, capital A, and then your student ID number. Again, you can find that on your password, plus the exclamation mark at the end with no spaces. Go ahead and press next. And if you signed in correctly, your Google Drive account should pop up. If you see this screen when you launch Safari for the first time, just click Cancel. If you click Submit, you'll see the next screen. If you see this screen, you do not need to worry about logging in again. You've already done that, so you can just close out of this screen and don't worry about it. Hi Lakeside students, to take the iPad handbook quiz, go ahead and launch Safari. If you get a screen that says, would you like to submit this form again, um, choose cancel. If you choose submit, it's going to bump you over to the light speed login and you can just close that out. You don't have to worry about it. You don't need to put in any passwords, so just press cancel. Go ahead and type the following URL into, your, um, into that URL bar. B I T period L Y forward slash capital L capital U capital S capital D lowercase Q U I Z capital M capital S. If you type this incorrectly, it will bump you over to a screen that looks like this with the child holding an iPad. Put your first and last name in. And then take your time on the handbook quiz. All of the questions here are pertaining to the iPad handbook. Do your very best. And then when you're all done at the very bottom, click Submit.